This is part three of Concepts Video 3 for the GeoSketch application. In this part, we're going to consider the case where we have oblique images of an area in which we wish to model, and we also have a nadir image. We use the GeoSketch function to import the nadir image, and when we do, it will also use the geolocation information to geolocate our coordinate system to the world. If we go to Window, in Model Info and select the Location tab. By default, SketchUp sets our location at Boulder, Colorado. But we import our Nader image, select the image, and our lat and lawn have been changed such that the origin of our coordinate system is now located on the Earth for Providence, Rhode Island. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to modify our aux views and the camera models contained with them to that new geolocation and the way we're going to do that is again using geometry as our mechanism we're going to use the move tool to move the building to its proper location on this geolocated image and then use an option to update the aux views so geosketch does not make any assumptions about the organization of your model this is intentional so that each user can use whatever model organization they prefer, however they want to use groups and components to organize the pieces of their model. So GeoSketch does not uh, impose any usage of groups and components. But it does operate on the assumption that you're going to use contiguous pieces of geometry to represent such, uh, features such as a building. And so the Move tool We'll grab all contigu contiguous pieces of geometry and move them uh, as one unit. This is why the Nader view, just like when you import a Google Earth image, it's placed in a group so that the geometry of the building will not stick to it. And that's the feature of SketchUp called Sticky Geometry. So we're going to use the Move tool and move this building to its correct location on the Nader image which is over here and the move tool can be used incrementally to just gradually you know do incremental moves to get it in its position and it will remember the moves that we made so that we can apply that same transformation to the aux views it's important that you stay in the move tool and just continue uh, move the selected the original selected object uh, in each incremental move if you were to leave the move tool or change to a different object then that information would get lost and as I said when you use the move tool it's just going to grab all the connected geometry so you can just grab it anywhere and slide it over to where it needs to be and then as you get closer zoom in to refine the position and we need to position it both in location and in orientation the move tool has a feature where if you hold down the control key then it will give you a lever, lever arm and you can do rotation until you get it in the correct position and it also can change the altitude of the building so if you hold down uh, grab the building and hold down the alt key then we'll be moving it in the z direction until we get it located at the same ground plane and again we'll refine it a little bit rotate about this corner so select that corner hold down the control key and if you move the cursor far away from the symbol you get finer control over the rotation of that object and then we'll do one finer final refinement so now we've located the building on the footprint of the nadir image and in our prompt it tells us that we can use the tab key to move the aux views so hit the tab key and it shows us in red the original position of the building and in green the current position of the building and it asks, do we want to transform the aux views from the red position to the green position? And we'll say yes. So now the aux views and their camera models have been reoriented to the position of this Nader image. So once again, well, for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll delete this building. Triple click on it and delete. And we'll build it with our new position of our aux views. So we use the rectangle tool. And rotate around to the uh, so where we can see the image. Uh, we'll probably want to turn off that nadir image using the hide selected layer and 
go back and in this case since we moved that building up such that it uh, the bottom was at the z equals zero plane we do not need to set our altitude to a different location because we're going to we want to build our building at the z equals zero plane of the SketchUp coordinate system so do the corners of the building and rotate around to the other side and do that last corner in this case the nadir image is being used to texture the top of the building and we'll do a convergence of the corners and now we see we have a better location of that building to our nadir image we'll go back to window layers and turn on the nadir layer and when we constructed that building it is now positioned correctly on this footprint and if we proceed to build some other buildings in this model they will also be located correctly on the nadir image one technique that can be used you notice that um, I moved the cursor as far away as possible from the corner I was rotating about to get finer control and I mentioned that when you grab a contiguous set of geometry the move tool will move it all together you may wish to use two buildings so you could build this building here and say build a building far away from it over here and then connect them with a temporary edge so that they're one contiguous piece of geometry and move those then when you go to do your fine adjustment of the rotation you could pivot about this corner and look at the corners of this building as far away as possible so that you can fine-tune your orientation. But that is the process where we updated the camera models of the aux views to align them with the orientation of a geolocated uh, nadir image. And remember the caution in the first part of this series that you cannot assume that the ground plane is flat so you need to be cognizant of for your local uh, modeling uh, environment where the whether the ground plane changes as you move uh, across the terrain. So that completes concepts video 3.